Hey everyone. Hey, I thought I'd do a little bit different video for you today and share a little bit about this instrument that, I'm, that I hold in my hand called the Native American Style Flute and my journey towards discovering this great instrument that's become such a blessing to me. And Doris and I, we were a few years ago, we were on a road trip to um, in Yellowstone National Park. And as we're driving through the park, we had a rental vehicle and it had satellite radio on it. So as we're driving through the park, and we're seeing buffalo and elk and you got the trees all around. It was just a very, very beautiful setting, very peaceful. And as we had uh, this radio station on, it was called Spa. It seemed appropriate. It played kind of meditative sort of music. It seemed appropriate for the setting that we were in. And, uh, and so we're listening to this as we're driving through Yellowstone. And I kept hearing this instrument in, in some of the songs that were coming through the radio. And I'm like, what is that instrument? And well, I come to find out it was the Native American style flute. And I knew nothing about it. And so wouldn't you know, we came to a, gate, a gift shop in the park. And as we went in and we're just kind of browsing around, I look over in the corner and there's a bin full of Native American style flutes. And, and I thought, that's it. And so, so I went over there and, and I picked one up and I thought, I might just, I'm probably gonna buy one. But I knew nothing about the instrument. I didn't know anything about how it's designed and, and uh, the functionality of, of this right here, which is called the bird or the block uh, or the fetish. Uh, the Native Americans, they would call it the totem. And I knew nothing about it. And, and so I tried to pick this up, just blindly picking it up. And I, I couldn't, I, this, it sounded something like this. <laughs> probably anybody in the store was like what is that guy doing somebody take that thing away from him <laughs> and and I was really discouraged because I thought this might be a new instrument for me but I couldn't get any kind of a, 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 a note out of it uh, nothing that anybody would want to hear so I, I passed it up well I kept thinking about it and as we continued on our road trip a couple days later into it I kept thinking about it and I told I told my wife Doris, I said, if I'm, if I'm still thinking about this, but this instrument, by the time we get home, like regretting that I didn't buy it, uh, I'm just going to buy one. And, uh, and sure enough, I was, I kept thinking about it. We got home and, and I did a little bit of research on just how, how it's designed, you know, how, how do you play it? And I ordered one and it finally came in the mail and I ordered a, one from Lapping Crow Flutes in the key of A. And if you've ever been interested, that's a great place, to, a great flute to start with from Lapping Crow Flutes. Um, uh, one in the key of A. Lapping Crow Flutes sells it on the website, but I think it's uh, made by Jonah Thompson. And uh, a great starter flute, about 50 bucks. And so I picked it up. Now, after knowing a little bit about it, I picked it up and started to play, and I was able to actually get you know a sound out of it. You know, it didn't, it didn't sound perfect or anything, but I was like, oh, I can do this. And, and I just got the bug and, and kept you know, playing and, and experimenting and whatnot. Well, now, a few years later, I've got, I don't know, maybe 15 different flutes. Because they all, they, I, they, I, when I started learning about it, I, I was kind of warned. I have read some things that uh, they say, warning with the Native American flute, uh, once you... They're like potato chips. Once you have one, you can't stop at one. <laughs> and so I've got different flutes now and different types of wood, um, different keys and musical keys. And this one I have on my hand here is my latest one. I just picked up yesterday. Um, it's brand new. A person received it as a gift and they just, they never played it. And, uh, and so they sold it. I got it, picked it up off of a offer up. Great deal on it. And too good to pass up and it was in the key of, of E that I was looking for and it's made out of this wood that's called babinga and I just like saying babinga <laughs> and babinga is an African wood and that I felt a connection there too because um, the last number of years I've um, been working with uh, Sewell International and now on the team there with uh, Dave Hesketh and and um, and we're we're going into Sierra, been, he's been going into Sierra Leone for years, and so now I'm part of the team and been, been uh, partnering together. And so there's a there's a connection with Africa, and so I like the fact that this is an African wood. And so I picked it up, and I just thought I'd share uh, a, a sampling of it with you. Today's the first time I've really played it, 
and uh, and I'll show you what the just the basic raw sound sounds like, and then I'll and then I'll add some effects of uh, reverb and and delay, so you can hear the contrast. And so the 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 raw sound is just how it how it sounds, and when you add the the reverb and delay, it kind of you can simulate that sort of canyon sound and kind of close your eyes and imagine you're out and maybe in in uh, the mountains in Arizona you got these big mountains all around you and you're starting to play and you get the natural the reverberation and the echo of the of the flute and so you can sort of simulate that with the with effects so I'll give you a little sampling of um, this flute which is made by Stellar Flutes which is based in uh, uh, Shelton Washington So there you go, that's, the, that's the, just the raw sound. Now I'll add a little bit of a reverb and echo, and you can hear that, that simulated. Maybe you just even want to close your eyes and picture yourself somewhere out in, in nature. <laughs> Well, there you go. You can, I'm sure you can clearly hear the difference between just the raw sound and then when you add some, some effects to it. And uh, add, adding the effects just really kind of kind of fattens and rounds out the sound and uh, gives it that nice full sound. And, um, and but sometimes it's nice just playing just the, you know, the raw flute with, with nothing, too. Like uh, I'll often just take a flute and, and go into the woods or maybe by the Puget Sound or, or wherever and somewhere out in nature. And it's just peaceful off of a, a hiking trail. And uh, just be able to find a spot, a little ways off the trail, and and just start playing. And sometimes people come walking up, and they're like, "Wow, that you know, they think it's kind of cool hearing a, you know, somebody playing a flute out there." Um, so anyway, if you've ever thought about the Native American flute, and maybe you've heard me play some things and thought, "Boy, I, I wish I could play that," you know what? I believe you can. Uh, I couldn't at first, but I learned a little bit about it, and then picked it up and you know ordered one and. And was able to start start playing, and I really believe that you can too. So um, I encourage you to do that if if you've ever thought about it. Again, get one in the key of A or maybe the key of G. Those are the two easiest keys to 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 begin to learn on, and then you can kind of expand from there. Like now, I've got uh, a number of different flutes and all kinds of different keys and, and whatnot, and and different types of wood. And each wood uh, has a little bit different tone to it. And you know, they say that. The, each flute has its own voice, 
and um, you'll learn to just appreciate this great instrument called the Native American style flute. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>